Okay, for our number, for this problem, ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do is we want to simplify this, all right? All it's asking us to do is simplify. So what we need to make sure we do is we don't have any negative exponents. Remember, we talked about a monomial that does not have a negative exponent. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to be, use my rules of negative exponents to get these to be non-negative. So here I have f to a negative fifth. Whenever you have a variable that's negative and it's <clears throat> stopped, you can put it under 1 to now make it positive, right? So what I could rewrite this is now, I can rewrite this as f or 1 over f to the n, right? Or I'm sorry, to the 5, not to the n, to the fifth. If it's negative, you can put it under 1 to make it positive, right? Then that's multiplied times g to the fourth. Is g to the fourth, is that over 1 or is that under 1? It's already over 1, right? You can put a 1 over there if that's going to help you out. You don't have to, but a lot of people get confused, so I'll put it over 1. Times, you have h to the negative second. This is actually under, this is your denominator, right? This is your denominator. So this is the same thing as 1 over h to the negative 2. So if I want to make this positive, I have to put it as the numerator. So now that's going to become h to the positive squared over 1. Does everybody see what I did? When you have it as a denominator and it's negative, to make it positive, you put it in the numerator. When you have it in the numerator and it's negative, to make it positive, you put it in the denominator. Now I multiply through, and my final answer is g to the fourth, h squared, over f to the fifth. And that's it. Simplify. Got it? Good.